Is John Wick, the dog-loving hitman with an iron constitution, set to return for a fifth installment? The action-packed franchise has been a roaring success, leaving fans eager for more. With Chapter 4 having set new box office records and even talk of potential back-to-back -back sequels, it's time to delve into everything we know so far about the possibility of John Wick Chapter 5. The John Wick franchise might keep going even without Keanu Reeves, the guy who plays the main character. <laughs> yep, that's the plan with the Continental prequel, which you can catch exclusively on Peacock for a three-night binge. But you know what's got fans super excited and curious? They're all wondering if Keanu Reeves will make a return as the unbreakable John Wick in a fifth movie. If Chapter 4 turned out to be the grand finale, that's not a bad way to wrap up John's story. However, if he's still kicking, where could his next crazy adventure lead him? So let's dive right into the question, will there be a fifth John Wick movie? The studio behind the hitman, Lionsgate, is definitely crossing their fingers for a fifth John Wick movie. I mean, even though John Wick Chapter 4 was a bit of an epic in terms of its runtime, it still raked in a whopping $426 million worldwide. Now, if that's not a screaming sign that says, hey, let's make another sequel, then I don't know what is. As Joe Drake, the bigwig over at Lionsgate Motion Picture Group put it earlier this year, we're not ready to bid farewell to Keanu in this franchise. So, it sounds like they're all in for more John Wick action. Here's the ultimate twist of fate. They initially planned to shoot another sequel right after Chapter 4, but the COVID-19 pandemic and a pretty demanding production schedule threw a wrench into those gears. Just before Joe Drake's optimistic statement, director Chad Stahelski and Keanu Reeves seemed like they were taking a breather, saying they were done for the moment. But here's where it gets interesting as Chapter 4's huge success at the box office made Chad Stahelski rethink things a bit. In fact, he's still got a bunch of cool action ideas up his sleeve that they didn't have time to use in the first four movies. The director put it this way, If we were forced to make three more John Wick movies and had to keep the action, storyline, and throw in some nods to the fans, we could definitely pull it off. But the real question is, why do it? What can we show John Wick doing that would still excite the audience and how many more times can we put the guy through the ringer? Shortly after that, the experienced Wick producer Basil Iwanek mentioned that Chad Stahelski and Keanu Reeves were planning to have a sit-down in Japan over a few bottles of whiskey to figure out the details for a fifth movie. Now, as for that overseas trip, it was scheduled for this month unless it got cancelled or delayed for some reason. As the producer put it in May, once they recover from their hangovers and come up with something genuinely cool, something that doesn't feel forced, there might just be a John Wick 5. So we're kind of waiting for that Japan trip like a ship emerging from the mist. The waiting game is on. Meanwhile, let's discuss what would John Wick 5 be about. And that's the tricky part. As Chad Stahelski mentioned earlier, he's got a whole bunch of action-packed ideas in mind, but the grand story arc is still a puzzle waiting to be solved. I don't have a clear direction at the moment, he admitted in an interview with Empire for their August 2023 issue. But who knows, tomorrow I might wake up with a brilliant idea to share with Keanu, or he might pitch something to me that just clicks, and we'd be like, wow, we've got to do this now. I've got scenes and action sequences in my head that we haven't even used yet, and I'd love to bring those to life. But if we do make a comeback, it can't be more of the same. I need to dig deep and come up with something fresh. I've got some homework to do and I've got to step up my game. Now the big question, would Keanu Reeves return for John Wick 5? The movie John Wick wouldn't really be a John Wick movie without the man himself, right? I mean, <laughs> technically John met his demise at the end of chapter 4 but there's that alternate ending where he's revealed to be alive, and let's be honest, we never actually see a funeral for the guy. Chad Stahelski, the director, shed some light on this during a recent Happy, Sad, Confused podcast episode. He said, If you asked Keanu right now, would you do a John Wick 5? He'd be like, absolutely. But then he'd quickly follow up with, well, what's the story? I have no idea. The bottom line is, it's not like they're going to figure it out on the spot. These guys have other projects to tackle first. 
but if the perfect idea pops into Stahelski's head while he's out for a drive or walking the dog, you can bet he'll be on the phone with Keanu in a heartbeat, and they'll start brainstorming. The million-dollar question is whether Chad Stahelski, who's juggling projects like Rainbow Six, a Highlander remake, and an adaptation of The Ghost of Tsushima, would step up as the director of John Wick 5. He's open to the idea of passing the torch to another filmmaker, but here's a catch. It would take an absolutely irresistible pitch to get him to hand over the reins. He had this to say during his chat with Empire. It would be worth discussing, but I'll admit I'm a bit selfish and possessive. I'm a control freak, and just suggesting it makes me want to smack you. Like, how dare you even suggest that? Of course I want to be the one to do it. With that, let's move on to what's the latest on the John Wick spin-offs. All right, time to dive into the latest on the John Wick spin-offs. The franchise continued its journey with The Continental from the world of John Wick, making its debut on Peacock recently. This limited series takes us back to the late 1970s in New York and will give us the scoop on how Winston Scott, played as a young man by Colin Woodell, came to be the manager of the famous hotel for professional assassins. But that not it, there is another spin-off, Ballerina. It's coming to the big screen on July 7, 2024. Now, this movie focuses on a member of the Ruscaroma crime family, which you might remember from Chapter 3 of John Wick. What's really cool is that it's got a brand new cast, with Anna de Armas, Gabriel Byrne, Norman Reedus, and Catalina Sandina Moreno joining the Wick universe. And for all the die-hard John Wick fans out there, you'll be thrilled to know that Keanu Reeves, Ian McShane, and the late Lance Reddick will be making cameo appearances. The man in the director's chair is Len Wiseman, the guy famous for his work on the Underworld movies. This flick story is set right in between the events of chapters 3 and 4. Lionsgate is going all in on the John Wick spin-offs, and they've got big plans in the works. Joe Drake hinted at a slew of projects, even mentioning a video game. During an earnings call in late May, he mentioned, we're expanding this franchise, not just in the world of AAA video games, but also by establishing a consistent stream of spin-offs and growing the television aspect of the universe. It's clear there's a strong appetite for more from the audience. So, what's officially on the horizon? Well, Ballerina is the first spin-off coming next year, and they're already working on three more, which includes John Wick 5 and television series like The Continental. They're building a rich world, and when that fifth movie arrives, it will naturally grow from the stories they're telling you can definitely expect a regular dose of John Wick adventures in the future. Now, as we wait, you can watch John Wick, John Wick Chapter 2, and John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum are now available to stream on Peacock, along with all the episodes of The Continental. Well, that's it for today. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you at the next one. Thank <laughs> you.